welcome my friends to a new episode of Kids Trivia. Today we are going to have a new competition, two new teams and a new theme. And today our theme is Acts 3. Let's first start by introducing our teams. Let's start by this team. What's your name and how old are you? Hi, I'm Rain and I'm 10 years old. My name is Andrew and I am 11 years old. My name is Ashley and I'm 10 years old. Hi, my name is Phil Petit and I'm 12 years old. It's great having you today. What about this team? What's your name and how old are you? Hi, my name is Maya and I'm 10 years old. Hi, my name is Matthew and I'm 9 years old. Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm 12 years old. Hi, my name is Mark and I'm 10 years old. It's great having you today. And now I'm going to ask each group to choose a name for their team, and you have 50 seconds. Start. Okay, are you done? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Ashley. Our team name is St. Joseph. St. Joseph? Okay, what about this team, Nicole? Our name is St. Mary. St. Mary? Okay, so St. Joseph and St. Mary. Okay, are you ready for the competition? Yes. All right, let's start. And the first question is for St. Joseph. And the question is, Saul, who was later known as Paul, was born in a city called A, Damascus, B, Corinth, C, Rome, D, Tarsus, and you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Okay, Marina? D. Tarsus? Are you sure? Okay, let's see. Saul was known as one of the people who greatly persecuted the church of God. He was called Saul, but later after God appeared to him, he was named Paul. He was a Roman citizen. This means he was very well educated and he was a Pharisee. He knew a lot about the word of God, but he was persecuting the Christians because he thought that the disciples of Jesus were spreading a wrong teaching and that Jesus wasn't the Son of God. He was a Roman citizen born in a city in Turkey called Tarsus. The answer is D. Correct answer. So now St. Joseph scored one point versus zero points for St. Mary, and the next question is for St. Mary, and the question is, where was Saul going when the Lord appeared to him? A. Lystra, B. Ephesus, C. Damascus, D. Samaria, and you have 50 seconds. Twenty-five seconds left. Are you done? Okay, Maya. See. Damascus. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's see. So, as we know, Saul was persecuting the Christians, and he was going everywhere, trying to encourage the people to attack the Christians and put them in jail and kill them. And he actually was traveling to this city after he took permission from the high priest to go and persecute those people in this city. But as he was traveling, the Lord appeared to him and he told him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul had no idea what was happening. Actually, a great, very bright light came into his eyes and he was, couldn't see anything. So Saul didn't see anything and he asked the Lord, Lord, who are you? He told him, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. 
and he told him, I want you to get up and go to this city. You're going to meet a man, and this man is going to tell you a lot about me. So this happened when Saul was traveling from Jerusalem to Damascus. The answer is C, correct answer. So now St. Mary scored one point and St. Joseph scored one point. And the next question is for St. Joseph. And the question is, the Lord asked a man named blank to go and put his hands on Saul to restore his sight. A. Peter. B. Ananias. C. Cornelius. D. Simon. And you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Yes. Okay. Andrew. B. Ananias. Okay. Let's listen to the story. So, we said that on the way to Damascus, the Lord appeared to Saul. And after that, Saul couldn't see anything. He was blind. And the men traveling with him actually took his hand and led him into the city of Damascus because he couldn't see anything. And there, he met this man. And when this man saw him, he told him that the Lord has sent me to you to put my hands on you so that you may see. And after that, Saul was baptized. After this man put his hands on him, like some, something like scales came down from uh, Saul's eyes, and then Saul started seeing again. And after that, he believed in Jesus and he was baptized. So who was that man who put his hand on Saul? He was called Ananias. The answer is B, correct answer. Good job. So now St. Joseph score is two versus 1.4 St. Mary. And the next question is for St. Mary. And the question is, when Saul came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were afraid of him. Who introduced him to the apostles? A, Ananias, B, Barnabas, C, James, D, Peter, and you have 50 seconds. Twenty-five seconds left. Are you done? Okay. Nicole? Um, D. D. Peter? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's see. So, after Saul was baptized and he became Paul, he started going everywhere preaching in the name of Jesus. After what he saw on the way to Damascus, he believed in Jesus and he wanted everybody to come to Jesus. So the people were so astonished, they couldn't believe it. Isn't this the man who used to persecute the Christians and he wanted to kill them? What happened to him? And after uh, Saul started preaching in Damascus, he decided to go to Jerusalem to meet the rest of the apostles. But when he went there and tried to join the apostles, they were so afraid of him and they didn't want him to come near them. They thought that he came to arrest them and kill them. But one of the disciples brought him and introduced him to the apostles, telling them that God has changed this man and now this man 
is preaching in the name of Christ. This disciple who introduced Saul to the apostles was called Barnabas. The answer is B, wrong answer. Sorry, but you still have a chance to win. And now the score is one point for St. Mary versus two points for St. Joseph. And the next question is for St. Joseph. And the question is, Peter healed a lame man called Aeneas, who lived in A. Sharon, B. Lystra, C. Damascus, D. Lydda, and you have 50 seconds. Twenty-five seconds left. Are you done? Yes. Okay. Philopathir? Okay, I say D. Leda? Yeah. Are you sure? Not really. Okay, is this your final answer? Okay. So, Peter was traveling from one city to another and to preach in the name of the Lord and do miracles by the power of Jesus and his Holy Spirit. He went everywhere to preach in the name of the Lord. And in this city, he met a man named Aeneas. He was lame for eight years and everybody knew him that he was the man who was lying on his bed, unable to move anywhere. And they felt sorry for him. And then one day, Peter met this lame man. And he told him, in the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. And at once, this man got up and started walking. And all the people who saw this miracle were so surprised and they, they were asking who healed this man. And then Peter took this opportunity to tell the people about Christ and how good he is and how he made him uh, heal this man by his power and blessing. Now sometimes we ask ourselves, Jesus, why did you leave this man lame for eight years? Why didn't you heal him a long time ago? But this man actually got a lot of blessings out of this sickness. First of all, he got healed. And secondly, he was the reason why a lot of people believed in the name of Jesus and were baptized. And this was a great blessing for this man. So this happened in a city called Lydda. The answer is the correct answer. And now the score is three points for St. Joseph and one point for St. Mary. And the next question is for St. Mary. And the question is, in a nearby city called Joppa, Peter brought a disciple called blank back to life. Who, what was her name? A. Lydia. B. Simon, C. Timothy, D. Tabitha, and you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Yes. Okay, Mark. D. Tabitha. Tabitha, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we knew that Peter was in the city called Lydda and he healed a lame man. In a nearby city called Joppa, there was another disciple. This disciple was a very good disciple. She was very kind and she used to help everybody and everybody loved her. She used to help the poor and she used to make robes and clothing for the poor. So one day, she got really, really sick and 
she couldn't make it. She got weaker and weaker day after day. And then one day she got really, her case got really bad and she died. And the people started crying and there were, they were in great misery because they loved her so much because she offered them a lot of help. But the people around her knew that Peter was visiting in a nearby city called Lydda. So they sent two men for him to bring him here, telling him to come for this disciple who just died. So as soon as Peter heard the news, he came right away. And when he saw this disciple laying on her bed, not breathing, not speaking, he told her, he started praying, and then he told her in the name of Jesus Christ, get up. And at once, she got up and she started walking. This disciple was a very good disciple in the city of Joppa, and her name was Tabitha. The answer is the correct answer. So now St. Mary scored two points versus three points for St. Joseph. And the next question is for St. Joseph. And the question is, at Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius. This man was a A, centurion, B, fisherman, C, Pharisee, D, tax collector, and you have 50 seconds. Twenty-five seconds left. Are you done? Okay, Marina? The answer is A. A, Centurion? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Okay. Let's see. So, in Caesarea, there was a very good man called Cornelius. He was not a Jew. He wasn't uh, religious, but he loved God very much and he used to do a lot of good for the poor and give all the people who were in need. He and his family were very close to God. And then one day God sent him an angel and this angel told him that you are gonna meet a man called Peter. I want you to send him two of your men to bring him here and he's gonna baptize you and your family. So as soon as this angel said that, he disappeared and this man uh, sent these two men to Peter. This man was a Roman soldier responsible for a hundred soldiers in the army and this means that he was a centurion the answer is a correct answer so now the score is four points for saint joseph and two points for saint mary and the next question is for saint mary and the question is on the journey from Joppa to Caesarea, Peter had a vision of A. Wars B. Animals C. Angels D. Believers And you have 50 seconds. Okay, are you done? Okay. Uh, Maya? B, animals. Animals? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's see. So one day, Peter was in Joppa, and he was staying at the home of Simon the Tanner. And he was went up on the roof to pray while they were preparing the lunch for him. He was very hungry, but he went up to pray, and while he was praying, he had a vision. 
This vision was about a sheet leapt from heaven and this sheet was held from its four corners and this sheet contained all the animals on the earth. The answer is B, correct answer. So now St. Mary scored three points versus four points for St. Joseph. And the next question is for St. Joseph. In Peter's vision, the unclean animals represent A, the Israelites, B, the Nazarites, C, the Gentiles, D, the believers, and you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Okay, Andrew? C. The Gentiles? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, let's listen to the story. So, what about this dream? What does this vision mean? Animals from heaven, and then God asked Peter, you can cook a lot of good food out of these animals. But Peter answered the Lord and told him, No, Lord, I haven't eaten anything unclean before. Because at that time, the animals were divided into clean and unclean animals, according to the law of Moses. And the people were only allowed to eat from the clean animals. So God answered Peter and told him, If I make something clean, do not make it unclean. So what does this dream mean? Guess what? This dream is not about animals and it's not about eating. It's not about food. It's about people. Because Peter thought that the good news was only for the religious people. So the unclean animals here represented the people who are not religious. And the clean animals represented the people who are religious. Because Peter thought that I, I would, should only go to the Jews and I should only go to the religious people and tell them the news about Jesus and baptize them in the name of Jesus Christ. But God was trying to tell Peter, no, everyone is welcomed to come to Jesus. Do not judge the people. Even if you think that those people are not worthy, I know that these people are worthy. And the reason why God showed Peter this vision is because he wanted Peter to baptize Cornelius who was not a Jew he was a Gentile so here in this dream the unclean animals represent the Gentiles the answer is C correct answer and now Saint Joseph scored five points versus three points for Saint Mary and the next question is for St. Mary. And the question is, when the apostles and believers throughout Judea heard that Peter baptized the Gentiles, they, A, were upset, B, rejoiced, C, left Peter, D, punished Peter, and you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Yes. Okay, Matthew? D. Punished Peter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's listen to the rest of the story. When the people in Judea heard that Peter went to the Gentiles to give them the good news about Jesus, did you go to the Gentiles and eat with them and sit with them? These are these are bad people. These are our enemies how how did you do that and they were so upset so peter started explaining for them the vision that god showed him and that god told him that the good news about jesus is not only for the religious people it's for everyone everyone is welcomed to get the salvation by jesus christ 
and everyone is welcomed to be baptized in the name of Jesus. So the apostles were convinced, but at the beginning they were upset. The answer is A, wrong answer. Sorry, but you did a very great job today. Let's see the score. The score is five points for St. Joseph versus three points for St. Mary. So the winner is St. Joseph. Good job. You did a great job today, both teams. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for watching us today. See you next week with more to know with Kids Trivia.